Well, he didn't say to you that he's my public relation agent. <laughs> well, beside that, I wrote a few lines, because if not, I get too emotional. I wrote a few lines of my speech. Non plus ultra gentes ave, veni ut premium recipiem. Telling that, I saw some perplexity about the people who gentle came here because I, was pl I planned to make a speech in Latin. <laughs> so these perhaps would suit me when they sanctify me in the Vatican, but not today. And speaking about the mysterious region why I've been inducted, I told a friend of mine that don't induct me in the Hall of Fame in the States, and he said, how comes that only one of your book is translated in the States in English? And I said, well, perhaps because if all the others 15 were translated, I wouldn't get me there. So uh, what I can say more? I felt today that if I have to represent somebody in front of this incredible group of real champions and tennis players is because perhaps I could represent the loser. Because there is no winner without losers. And the losers are not there, they're all winners. So, I mean, I say to myself, Clerici, I take you there because you are the greatest loser ever seen in the history. <laughs> yes. Because uh, in between uh, two Roland Garros and two Wimbledon, I never won a single match. <laughs> and then I think it's a good, good reason for my award. There is more, Johnny. We have for you a Hall of Fame jacket. Will you take that cheap rag off and put this on, please? 